Hello everybody, it's Jenny Fire Flame talking, and welcome to Death Battle! Ryu vs. Scorpion. Now, I have a couple of questions to ask, or to answer, because a lot of them have been asked to me. Like for instance, why didn't I upload a reaction video to the last Death Battle with the robots and stuff? Well, the reason for that was because I uh, recorded everything, I thought everything was in order, until I checked the until I checked the recordings for my webcam, and it turned out I had lost all my audio. So, that happened. But that shouldn't hold us back from enjoying this death battle. So, how, what do I know about these characters, and who do I think is going to win right now? Well, I know both of them by name, but I only know Scorpion when it comes to backstory. So apparently he is the last of a clan who got killed or was supposedly killed by Sub-Zero, his arch and nemesis. He works with fire, he's from hell, so he's right up my alley. But as far as I know when it comes to abilities, uh, as far as I know, Scorpion doesn't really work with most like enemy based, uh, energy based attacks like uh, Ryu does, but he does seem more brutal and have more than tenacity in his fighting style. So if I if I had to guess right now, I would say that Scorpion is going to win this fight. But anyway guys, let's not hold back anymore. Let's just punch our fists together and fight in the comments about something that shouldn't really happen. <coughs> Luigi vs. Hales. Um, and let's just get to the viewing. In one, two, three, go. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. I'll be sure to do so, my good sir. Wait, I've already subscribed. Ah. Two marquee warriors, arcade rivals since the 90s, now facing off for true superiority. Okay. Ryu, the wandering world warrior. And Scorpion, the ninja from hell. He's with ninja from hell. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. This is going to be interesting. Endlessly walking the earth and improving his fighting skill is the life of Ryu, the Japanese martial artist without a home. But there's more to this karate hobo than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. After being dumped on a doorstep by his douchebag parents, oh. he was adopted by the mysterious Goken. From that moment on, Ryu dedicated his life to martial arts. Well, that's Probably a... on some sort of parental vengeance quest. <laughs> that is an exciting lifestyle. His best friend and rival, Ken Masters. Goken taught them the Ansatsuken, or Assassin's Fist, fighting style. But Assassin's Fist? actually a bit misleading. While originally designed as a means to murder, Goken's personal take on the Ansatsuken is based around karate, kenpo, judo, and not killing people. Okay, Unlike so... the ways of his violent brother, Akuma, who ultimately would prove to be his undoing. Oh yeah, he can finger bane. Well, the oh yeah, that's a reference to, like, McDojo second style. episode of the show. Are you sure you can use an uppercut so powerful, it launches his victim sky high? Yeah, sure you can. Hadouken uses Hadouken! his power to fire a blast of energy and destroy evil things, like waterfalls. And... Physics? What? And finally, the Tatsu. Anime physics? Uh, How do they even work? Sucks. Tatsumaki Senpu. Tatsumaki Senpu. Anyway, Tatsumaki Senpu Kaku. And then a Joden Suku Turukeri. Like I hope I pronounced that right. Helicopter kicking machine. He also has a powerful step kick he calls the Judan Soku Tugeri. Hey, we don't have the translation for that one. Soku Tugeri. Oh. And diarrhea jokes to it? <laughs> what does it do? Kick people in the stomach so hard that he takes them to brown town? With the correct kanji, it's more like high level leg blade kick. You know it's I like the Google Translate right version better, <laughs> to be honest. At the age of twenty <laughs> Because I've experienced Ari and it's not fun tournament to test his skills. That was he very nine oh, powerful combatants disgusting, I'm sorry. taking on the champion Sagat. After a hard-fought battle, Sagat was set to take the win. He uh, is really much smaller in the game than in the comic book and anime. After beating the shit out of Ryu, Sagat offered him a helping hand up. Uh -huh. Instead of taking it, Ryu gave him a surprise punch so hard, it ripped his chest open and nearly killed the guy. Wow. Dick move, Ryu. Dick move. This was Ryu's first taste of the dark power buried within him, oh. the Satsui no Hado. 
literally the surge of murderous intent. Whoa, that is you. as good a name as the diarrhea joke foot. The Satsui no Hado gives Wait, does that mean he's in family or some kind of like that with Akuma? He can tap a portion of this power to safely enhance his attacks. However, should his desire to win become so great he would even commit murder, the Satsui no Hado can overwhelm him and he will lose control, becoming Evil Ryu. Now we're talking! Evil Ryu has enormous power, to the point of being almost unstoppable. He can even blast a skyscraper to smithereens. Oh! Ooh! That's powerful blast! He can teleport short distances, even Yeah, it's so like Akuma! Away. More impressively, despite Goken never teaching him this, Evil Ryu can use the Ansatsuken's forbidden technique, the Shun Goku Satsu, more commonly known as the Raging, Raging Demon. Did the Raging Demon. Yeah, that's so With Akuma. this, Evil Ryu turns his foe's own sins against them and eradicates their soul. It was this exact attack which Akuma, a master of the Dark Hado, used to murder Ryu's master. Oh. Since then, Akuma has been haunting Ryu, tempting him to succumb and fully commit to the Dark Satsui no Hado as well. Basically, this is Karate Star Wars. Oh, you oh, yeah. everything Star Wars. Well, some even speculate that Akuma is Ryu's father. Mother of that God. would kind of make it sense. It is Karate Star Wars. But Goken's teachings instilled a powerful belief in Ryu. If he can resist and shun this dark temptation, Let's just hope. he can attain an even greater power. By detaching huh. himself from all emotion, he enters an alternate state of consciousness. Like a Jedi. This boosts his speed like and can do all sorts of crazy shit. Whoa, is that a Super Dukin? This is the power of nothingness. Nothingness? Stupid name. The power of nothingness is more focused than the Dark Hado, allowing Ryu complete control over his mind and body. Goken even once used this power to separate himself from his soul in order to survive Akuma's raging demon. Oh! Surprise! Obi-Wan is still alive. Ryu is skilled enough to take on new so what is at once, what tough enough to survive being impaled, Ugh. and strong enough to overpower the genetically created Super Warrior Seth. Oh, and he's fast enough to dodge point blank gun. Yeah, that's fire. also yeah. And as evil Ryu, his aura is so strong he can just walk through bullets. That said, being the Street Fighter poster boy doesn't mean he's the top world warrior. He's lost a number of matches fair and square against the likes of M Bison, Oro, and even his best friend Ken. How yeah, that's, that's also how always how it is. Stem from his struggle to contain the power of the Dark Satsui no Hado which is obviously quite difficult to do in the middle of battle. I can imagine. But when Ryu unleashes his full potential, stay the fuck out of his uh -huh. way. My name is Ryu, and the ultimate power has awakened within me. It's kind of like Superman, like he tries to hold himself in control. So, Scorpion. From Earth Realm to Outworld, there were few who didn't fear the ruthless clan known <laughs> as the Ling Kuei. Oh. Except the Shirai Ryu, a clan with some serious balls. Not only did they defect from the Lin Kuei, they mocked them on a daily basis by wearing obvious palette swabs of their clothes. Oh. They also like to pull classic pranks like annoying phone calls, TPing Lin Kuei homes, and constantly slaughtering their loved ones. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> from the Shirai Ryu came Hanzo Hazashi, the hellish ninja of vengeance. But before he became the stuff of nightmares, he was once an ordinary young child, whose father just happened to be a deadly assassin. In That's Hanzo's always how it is. From a violent life of regret and murder, Hanzo's father forbade him from ever joining the clan. Sorry, son. You're not allowed to be awesome. However, as time went yeah, on, Yeah, I Hanzo couldn't really stop desperate. him. He needed a way to support not only himself, but also his wife and son. Faced with few other options, he reluctantly disobeyed his father and began the life of a ninja assassin. Oh, that's the kunai. Ninja, Hanzo is exceptionally skilled in ninjutsu, pai gua, hapkido, and numerous secret Chinese martial arts. Yeah, that, that was something I haven't heard of. weapon of choice that earned him the nickname Scorpion. Get over here! Get over here! Ow! While his kunai on a rope is iconic and deadly, I'm more partial to whatever the hell that snake creature is that lives in his head. Uh, ah. In whatever form, it impales the opponent and pulls up Ooh. close, usually for a sweet uppercut to the jaw. This is similar to an ancient assassination weapon used in the Tang Dynasty called the Rope Dart. Rope it's dart. extremely difficult to master, making Scorpion's finesse all the more impressive. He's also proficient with several weapons like long swords, twin katanas, and axes. Hosty! Scorpion's weaponry and combat prowess were put to the ultimate test by the legendary Lin Kuei warrior, Bihan, aka Sub Zero. 
And things didn't go so well for our yellow clad. I can imagine. Next thing he knew, Scorpion was waking up in the nether realm. More commonly known as hell. hell. Bet you wish you listened to dad now. Then maybe you could have ended up in a happier place with your murdered wife and kid. Oh yeah, they're dead too. Then and wouldn't they be in the nether realm as well? Apparently killing all whom he'd sworn to protect. Scorpion scored a second chance by striking a deal with the sorcerer, Quan Chi. Oh, yeah. In exchange for his loyalty, Scorpion was resurrected as a phantom of the nether realm. <laughs> and being reborn as a demon of vengeance has its perks. Scorpion can now teleport, summon mm -hmm. fire at will, uh -huh. and create portals in and out of the nether realm he was Oh yeah. From, literally dragging others to Yep. Whilst there, his plus ones can enjoy such tourist locations as Lava Pit, and witness the corpse burning celebration called the Festival of Torture. And looks like a party I don't want to join. The Nether Realm is the source of Scorpion's demonic power, and his strength rises simply by his being there. Scorpion is so vicious he can perform no fewer than 13 different fatalities. Ooh. He That's can quite a number. His head from their body, Ugh. spine included. That's not something you just do. That's art right there. Mm. Rip off his mask to show his true face. Ah, what the fuck is that thing? And score a kill by transforming into a, well, giant, giant scorpion, scorpion, of course. Or a penguin. Okay. Wait, what? what? And although Scorpion was far from the most powerful combatant in the Mortal Kombat tournament, he has defeated lethal warriors across multiple worlds. Yeah. He's conquered sorcerers, demons, cyborgs. Many, and many, many, many. his death by incinerating Bihan in the Nether Realm. But it turns out that that Sub Zero guy was kind of innocent. Yeah, exactly. Was that the Quan Chi? Quan Chi. Yeah. Chi. You know, that guy he swore himself to and has been working for this whole time? <laughs> Man, Scorpion's kind of like the Charlie Brown of Mortal Kombat. What? I don't know Charlie Brown. As very much, penance so. for his mistake, Scorpion dedicated his life after death to protecting the late Sub Zero's younger brother, Sub Zero. Though he still found time for shooting threes, hitting homers, and how can you play baseball with a sword? This week on and cooking, cooking with Scorpion. With Scorpion. Learn about chopping. Yeah, I'm not gonna trust anything that guy makes. Does he even eat anymore? Aside from his weakness for the culinary arts, Scorpion's win-loss record is not as intimidating as you might think. Oh. But consider the outrageous scope of his competition. Anyway, you that is it, it's pretty tough to be real, much more yeah. of a badass than a fire-breathing skeleton ninja from hell. That is I am Scorpion. Vengeance will be mine! Right! Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. all right. But first, want to win the original script for this episode, signed by Wiz and myself? Use the widget link below to choose the fighter you think will prevail, and you'll automatically be entered to win. And now it's time for a death Oh, battle. that's cool. Stop! Okay. So, looking at what we've got here. Um, hmm. It just... Okay. So, with, with the newly given information, it sounds like Ryu is going to win. He just seems to have much more power in both his, his normal form, his evil form, and his nothingness form, which I will agree with Boomstick is kind of a weird name. But, um... And Scorpion, he is still cool, but I'm just not sure how will he be able to hold against it. But then again, every other time I've said that, the one I, I thought was loose won. So you know what? Despite everything I just said, I think Scorpion is going to win. Alright guys? So, let's begin in 3, 2, 1, go. Right. We are on a cliff. Ooh, we're swimming in. That's Ryu. Looking badass with the wind in his hair. Mm. Oh, but there comes Scorpion. Let's do this! Alright. So, what is that? Like, kind of an updated Scorpion model from the first games? Dude, you just destroyed the Kunai Spear because then you just hit up, dude. You do not destroy Scorpion's Kunai, you just don't. There's a sword, it's going to freaking slide your ass up. Ow, 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 ow! Kicks to the face. Ooh, kicks to the stomach. Diarrhea. Um. So, huh, I like the 3D modeling of the environment, it looks really cool. I'll finish this. You'll join in hell. 
All right. By taking him to the Nether Realms, Scorpion's strength improves naturally just by him being there. So, huh? Will this change of change of scenery make him strong enough to win? This is some fight. Shooting the fireball. Exploding fireballs. Ow! Ow! Ooh, ew, ooh, ow, ooh. Um, I don't know who to root for, so go Scorpion! Cut his ass up! Neither of us have reached our full potential. As if that matters. Oh Jesus. Scott died! Here comes the evil. Evil Ryu. Surprised? He just punches that fireball out of the way. Scorpion, how will you be able to hold up against this? Will, will his experience and, ten and demonic tenacity alone hold up against this? I'm really not sure what you think. That must hurt. Pretty much. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, good. Teleporting out of the way. Here comes the face fire. Or the punches, the punch against the punches, the knuckle against the knuckle, the... Oh shit. Oh! Oh, that strategy, I've heard that's so cheap to do in the game. So what are you going to do now? Normal doesn't help, evil doesn't help. I will not succumb to evil. So now come the nothingness. Will Scorpion be able to hold against this? This is the power of mankind! That's supposed to be the super looking thingy. Ow! Yeah. That's pretty much what I have for us. I walk a path with no end. Interesting to know. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> hey -yo! Okay. No chef, but that looks a bit overcooked. Ryu's Satsui no Hado and the power of nothingness were incredibly powerful, but raw power alone is not enough to destroy Scorpion. Yet Scorpion's advantage of already being dead didn't make this a cakewalk. In fact, Ryu had the perfect way to permanently end Scorpion, the soul-killing raging demon. But he could avoid the instant murder move thanks to his awesome ninja skills and teleportation. Not to mention Ryu has very little experience actually using the Raging Demon anyway. But most importantly, Scorpion's strength increases the longer he remains in the Nether Realm. Oh. With no defined limit. Once trapped in hell with Scorpion, Ryu stood little chance in the long run. Zero chance if Scorpion just up and teleported him into a pool of lava. Which he could totally do. Scorpion was just too hot to handle. The winner is Scorpion. Nicely made! I was actually right for once, next in my assumption. So, who's next? Ooh, epic music. It's going to be epic. So, who is this? Who is it? True Terror is... Is... Kirby versus Boo? Now there is a matchup I did not see coming. Okay. Got an idea for a death battle? Let us know. Got a couple, but below. I don't think would be and pretty interesting. Like, and subscribe, and I will All right, I think we'll figure it out here. And All right, guys. So that was Ryu versus Scorpion, and I am pretty glad to actually be kind of right for once. Yes, I thought that uh, Ryu was going to win, but I completely not considering that Scorpion was already kind of dead, like. He's not even alive in that kind of sense. So, yeah. Prove me wrong. I'm kind of right, but anyway. Great congrats to Scorpion. I think he's, he deserved it. He is clearly awesome enough to gain that, uh, gain that win. But anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please continue to watch. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. It really helps me out. And I really appreciate all of your guys' support. 
and I'll see you guys next time.